Hi hey everyone, Stranger Things back again with another online education video and today we are going to be talking about Pluralsight. Pluralsight to me feels like one of those large video training course aggregators. Basically, there's this large variety of courses that you can learn in different disciplines like business, cloud, machine learning, cybersecurity, and software development. In my experience, I've used a few other platforms which are very similar to Pluralsight, mainly Udemy, Coursera, and Linda, which some of you may know as LinkedIn Learning. So throughout this video, just know that I'll be making my comparisons based on those other platforms as I'm going through this honest evaluation of Pluralsight. And without further ado, because I value your time, let's jump straight into this Stranger Things analysis. Now I'm going to start with the pros of this platform since it's going to be short. The first thing I like is the content offered by Pluralsight. As I was going through their course catalogue, I realised that there are a lot of credible creators on the platform, which also lends into Pluralsight's ability to create courses that are very specialised, such as this one course on Ethereum applications which I sampled. Also, I appreciate that for the course I tried, the instructor goes into good depth compared to what I'm used to on Coursera or Linda. Now another thing to mention is that the speed adjustment on the videos is more granular on Pluralsight and as someone who actively toggles his video to get that sweet spot of video speed where the info comes fast enough so that I stay productive but not too fast that I can't digest it, that is my most loved part of the app. Also there's this note taking feature, I like it cause it is tagged to the timestamp and I can jump straight into any part of the course content to review my learning gaps. And I'm also able to export all my notes out which is pretty nifty. Now there's a couple other features like skills IQ assessment, different learning modes which I won't go through in detail cause they're not as game changing but I encourage you to find out more if you are interested in Pluralsight. And now moving on to the flaws of Pluralsight, I think starting off Pluralsight isn't the most user-friendly platform. I didn't know where to retrieve the exercise files as I was going through the course content simply because when I log into the platform on the new day to continue the course, I click straight into the video thumbnail which brings me into the latest chapter of the course which I stopped at. I only realized much later that I had to go back to the main landing page in order to download the exercise files which is just not very intuitive for me. But I suppose this is still a pretty personal problem since some learners will just download all the exercise files at the start whereas I download each chapter as I go along the course content. It's also not a very beginner friendly platform to start learning a new skill. For example, my system runs on Windows but the tutorial runs on Linux which gave me a hard time following along getting everything set up correctly. Now this wasn't a one-off instance, I have many experiences of this during the one month that I trout Pluralsight. When you use Pluralsight, new surprises will keep springing up at you but not in a good way as you progress along the course. It's a very unpleasant experience and takes up way too much of my time aligning my system to what the Pluralsight instructors have set up. I mean, surely they could have done a better job in informing us beforehand on what were the requirements before starting the course, right? As another personal example, one of the courses I tried uses Ubuntu but because I'm on Windows, I set up developer mode to enable Windows subsystem for Linux, get Ubuntu up and running only to realize much later into the course that certain experimental features covered in the course are not yet supported on the Windows subsystem for Linux and only available via Ubuntu on the native Linux OS. So yes, I was thoroughly frustrated with all the work. But it taught me a great lesson as well, which is if the course content is outdated, the learning quickly gets very challenging for certain courses. So please check the date of the course release before you sign up for it. You don't want to be trying to follow your instructor only to realize whatever he's teaching is irrelevant or incompatible with the tech in the current day and age. What the hell is this? Anyway, I can't imagine if I paid for this course and didn't get the experience I wanted. Please make sure you scope out the course you want before paying your hard earned money for enrollment. And yeah, this is the end of my review which somehow became a rant. Thanks for sticking through to the end, I hope you enjoyed this unfiltered commentary on Pluralsight. And while it may sound a bit harsh, you know what? Let me know if you think I'm being too unfair with Pluralsight down in the comment section below. 
Now, if you want to help support this channel so I can continue making videos like this, please consider liking this video and subscribing. I respond to all comments. Have a great lovely day ahead and peace.